HIV is a deadly disease which has maximum mortality rate. We all know that a person who gets diagnosed with HIV cannot live a normal life and will die very soon. There are approximately 37.6 million people across the globe with HIV in the year 2020. Of these, 35.9 million are adults and 1.7 million are children. But this notion has been put to shame by the recent research breakthrough that has happened. Yes, my words are true. The first phase vaccine trials on humans have started and it has been tried on an unidentified person. Let us listen to the update on the HIV vaccine in this video. A biotechnology company named American Gene Technologies AGT, in Rockville, Maryland, a team of molecular biologists is working to develop cures for cancer, HIV, and a range of other diseases. A milestone has been reached in the HIV cure program, which is currently in phase 1 human trials. An unidentified man has been treated in the month of May and he has been coping up very well. The FDA has been reviewing the cell therapy product named AGT-103T, which is intended to cure HIV. The CEO of the company, Jeff Galvin, has said, we are putting viruses in their bodies that are going to specific cells and that are making very, very specific changes in a targeted way. Galvin also said, Initially, safety data is caused to celebrate because what it says is that the process by which we are doing a cell modification for these patients seems to be showing safety. This year, we may prove that a functional cure is possible and see the end of HIV in our lifetime. What was once a virtual death sentence is now a manageable disease for some because of the development of antiretroviral treatments. Dr. Ravi Perry, Chair of the Political Science Department at Howard University, is a HIV-infected patient. He has said, I've lived far longer than I ever thought and I would on the day I was diagnosed. Dr. Perry said, I genuinely treat every day as a blessing. My immune system still is somewhat compromised. When I got a cold, my colds used to last for a day or two. Now it lasts for four to six days. Your body has a slow response. I've been able to live mostly a normal life, even with HIV. It's not something I expected to get, but I was 21 when I was diagnosed. I've grown accustomed to telling that story because I think it's important for younger people. Dr. Perry reminds students on campus about the seriousness of this virus. He also tells his story at local churches and community events. My hope is that people realize the seriousness of HIV, but that people are living with HIV and not dying as much from AIDS anymore. The stigma associated with it, I think, certainly has no place in society, he said. While Dr. Perry doesn't expect a cure to be developed in his lifetime, he said there are steps to take to eliminate HIV. First, with equal emphasis on prevention and intervention. We seem to be focused on prevention because, of course, most of the world is negative. Dr. Perry said we all can be doing more to help ensure this disease doesn't ravage another generation. We can be donating our time to HIV or AIDS organizations. We can of course in our own personal and private lives be ensuring we are having conversation with our nieces, our nephews, our cousins about HIV. A person named Timothy Ray Brown, also called Berlin patient, was the first one to recover from HIV but unfortunately he died of cancer in 2020 at the age of 54. Adam Castillo, 
also known as London patient, is free of the virus more than 30 months after stopping antiretroviral therapy and is still alive. The news of HIV vaccine trails at this tough time of pandemic is truly a ray of hope for the HIV patients and let us hope that these vaccines are globally released and let the world be free of HIV. Thank you.